Hey guys, welcome to the video. And this setup is like a very kind of a emergency setup. I had to make this video because a game is breaking RTX 3090s. Can you believe it? Basically, GPUs which come with three eight-pin power plugs, they are like uh, they're gonna get bricked if you play this game. And this is a very big issue because the whole GPU is dead. And I also have a 3080. I'll just show you guys. So if you think I'm a newbie or something, like uh, if I, I am a random guy to this, I do have a RTX 3080, which does have triple like eight pin power slots. And I also have a 6800 XT. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah. This game is from Amazon. Game name is New World. This is the Amazon's new MMO game, New World. and if you play this game i have seen videos from jay's two saints and son of a tech he's a minor and you all know jay's two saints so also the reddit threads reddit threads are going on like many people are experiencing who are playing this game they are experiencing this kind of a situation with them that they are playing the game but actually it breaks their graphic card why is this happening but i didn't play this game very hopefully so AMD cards are actually not affected. If you're AMD high end user, they're not affected. But if you are a NVIDIA 3080, which has three eight pin power, like PCIe slots. So my 3080 can take three eight pin PCIe cables, which I, I, is really concerning for me as well. If I break the GPU, like uh, this is all the game's fault and Amazon's fault. So that's kind of a sketchy area then you have to go to your manufacturer and what we are seeing online currently is that evga gpus are mainly the ones which are getting this issue but it can also happen with your gpu you know this is a new game this was in beta this is not a public game yet this was in beta testing like came into beta testing just yesterday so beta testing uh, in this phase basically many people don't uh, like play this game only like some streamers youtubers and people who are into this kind of stuff will play it this game has not been released like the final version of it so that is why you are seeing uh, the evga 3090s get affected because most people in the us are playing this game and most people in the us have evga 3090s and hybrids and ftw but the lower, if you have a 3070 or a 3060 Ti, you don't need to be worried because this game cannot make you draw as much power. But if you have a 3080, with, if you have a 3080 Ti or a 3090, it can totally, it can totally break your GPU. This is really concerning and it was, it was concerning to me as well. So it was an alpha and, and now it's in beta, which means you can download it and play it. But I would not recommend it if you have a high end graphic card please stay away from this game when this game was in alpha stage this happened already the game developers and the testers who are like basically alpha testing the their first hand testing the game this happened with them but they still chose to release the beta version and now it is even affecting more users it's affecting even more users than it was affecting before and the gpus are getting bricked like in india this graphic card costs like more than three thousand dollars and my 3080 cost like more than two thousand dollars 3090 is a three thousand dollar plus card and it is getting bricked just get through this video and be aware if you have a high-end graphic card or if you're planning to buy a graphic card which is really high end you should consider into this topic and just keep yourself safe so there is a guy on twitch he was streaming with this uh, 3090 and he was trying to play this new game twitch.tv slash glad you can check him out for the 3090 info and he has a evga ftw for the win 3 3090 and his card got bricked he's saying do not at any cost play new world with this gpu so basically what happens is you just play the game you're in the menu you're changing the settings or you're in the game basically what will happen is the graphic card will start drawing a lot of power the game will start demanding very much like high power high current and all the juice it can get 
to get higher fps i don't think there is a limiter on this game or this is a very big glitch what happened is it will give you the overcharge protection ocp behavior type of thing so basically when uh, more current inflows to the graphic card they needed so like more current like suppose 3090 is 350 watts and suddenly if you get a s spike like a current spike of uh, 450 watts or like very high spikes like overcurrent protection will just shut down the card so that the pcb is safe and the card does not like completely die so it will basically shut down the whole card and the whole system basically so the card the uh, the main vram the components the main gpu die is not harmed so that is over current protection and this this type of behavior kicks in and the system completely goes off uh, this was also noticed in uh, reddit and the streamer and also son of a tech reported that he was just playing the game and changing some settings and he went to the game and then he was just uh, hanging out in the wild just just playing the game for a few seconds and then then he literally got crashed like the whole system got crashed and he he's basically into pc and stuff and he is also a minor so he knows like the pcie power cables and everything and the power supplies and stuff so then he figured out then he configured it like uh, then he configured the he changed the power supply he basically diagnosed he basically did diagnosis of his pc that what is wrong because if if this happens to you you will not think that it is the gpu you'll just restart the system maybe it's maybe it's the power supply maybe it's the cable so he figured that out and the problem was the gpu the gpu 3090 ftw was completely dead and according to some reddit users so uh, the system crashes over current protection kicks in and the system crashes and then instantly if if my system currently turns off right now and i'm playing a game i would just be like rushing to play that game and resume my game so i'll just return like turn it on again like i'll i'll just turn my system on instantly and just check into the game so the guy started uh, the guy with the 3090s they started people started just uh, re rebooting their pc and for some cases it was hopeful that their pc restarted so the overcurrent protection worked for them the pc was basically safe until now so they started playing the game again and this happened again because this game is totally bricked this game is totally messy and it's in uh, alpha stage they already knew that this was happening so in beta stage even more users are affected now and it is a very concerning thing that even a program can break your whole system gpu power supply cables it's very dangerous so at reddit the guy says that he heard a pop in the system and basically the gpu graphic card cannot get their gpu to turn on and the rest of the system was fine for some and i don't know like i don't have every gamer who faced with this issue but basically i assume that mostly gpus are dead and for some people the power supply or the pcie power cable might be also dead plus the gpu i mean this twitch streamer he basically went online and posted on reddit that uh, this happened with my card you know if anything happens with my 3080 i will be really worried and first i'll first i'll try basically i can get an online solution or a youtube video or a reddit post which can fix it or maybe some update or something whatever maybe i can reset the card or something like that so that uh, i have a hope like the card is alive so this guy went to reddit and other users kept saying that this happened to me this happened to me too this happened to me so this was like not a one user kind of a issue he didn't mess up he didn't do anything he was just playing a game on his 3090 which costs three thousand dollars and just dead mostly like 99 percent of the cases are from 3090 and the manufacturer is evga i do not blame like evga for that maybe it's just uh most of the guys have 3090s from evga in the us like uh who play the game it can be a random sample so evj is not to blame for it but the amazon the new world game is too and uh, other manufacturers other graphic cards might be affected starting from the 3080 high-end variants like the rog strix the supreme x and the gaming z trio gaming x trio these these can be affected 
and also the 3080 ti's which have three eight pin power cables can be affected so if you have a 3080 ti also be careful just do not play this game wccf tech is a very big website for tech and pc gaming and stuff so they they are very reliable and they are also reporting that there are other companies cards which are getting affected and like they're getting restarts they're getting these shutdowns and they're they're, they're basically dying so it's not just EVGA, but it has uh, the 3090s for now. And hopefully this game is taken back by the developer and stuff like they ban this game out. Compared to other AIBs, EVGA has sold higher number of uh, 3090s. So that is why we are seeing like, uh, like the 3090s from EVGA FTW crashing. And if people start playing this game, time will only tell that what happens, which cards are affected and which cards are going for RMA as many cards come for RMA, the companies will know. See like EVGA, if EVGA gets 50 cards or suppose like uh, even 20 cards, 20, 30, 90s mean a lot. 20, 30, 90s mean a lot, a lot of value because 2000, $3,000 for a card is not a joke. That is the highest end consumer GPU you can buy right now and uh, so if evga gets the same problem and if they diagnose it and uh, suppose the problem is in the vram or uh, it's in the capacitors or anything like a, a specific part or even the power delivery system eight pin pci plugs which you plug your cable into maybe they might be affected so after they figure out that then they can have a solution for this but as of now just stay away from this game so basically the main issue users are reporting like it's like overclocking your card to extreme limit if on a scale of 1 to 10 and 10 your card can be extremely overclocked and damaged also this this game is taking the card to a 11 the components cannot handle it the power door spikes up really high the fps spikes up in thousands and this card just goes like push yeah so so basically this is the single pin power cable you're gonna connect to your uh, power supply and then this uh, this focus will be so yeah then this is like a splitter kind of a thing from power supplies single single connector plugs into your power supply and then these two connectors are plugged into your graphic card so basically you are drawing from one PCIe single spec and for this cable the spec highest wattage it can pull officially like this is official rating I don't know unofficial how much it can pull or maybe there are platinum or titanium certified power supplies which can pull higher maybe but the PCIe sub uh, PCIe standard for which this cable can pull is 150 watts and if uh, if you're using the splitter and another cable like uh, there are three eight pin power cables on your graphic card so basically you you can have a total of around 300 to 320 watts around maximum power draw which will basically put strain on this cable and that might also be the issue that which uh, which can cause your graphic card and the power delivery to fall up you use it as like that but if you overclock the card to extreme limits like suppose you're running the card at higher memory clocks and you're running the card at 2000 plus megahertz like uh, all time and you just want the most performance out of it 3090 maybe your liquid cooled the 3090 i don't know so yeah if you're running it like that this will probably hurt when you run this game the it will spike up and the power system the optimal power which should be delivered is not being delivered it just spikes up and kicks in and just destroys the card your card card literally dies like 3090s are dying they're not even like they're just cracking up they're breaking the this gp is a break now you cannot do anything who's to blame for this you cannot blame the uh, aibs and nvidia and yeah nobody because they have overcurrent protection and basically you can blame Amazon Amazon I don't understand that Amazon knew this in the alpha testing that this issue exists but they still went ahead and launched the beta like the beta version of this game like what are people at Amazon doing I just like what are you guys doing what are the engineers at Amazon doing working from home not doing any testings because it's just a game and now you're breaking 
three thousand dollars worth of graphic cards with like do you know how much that is that is a in that money you can build like two high-end gaming pcs worth fifteen hundred dollar each so basically people are saying the fps fluctuations are dramatic because it, it's in beta it's not optimized so if i'll have some update on this situation i'll definitely post a video because a, a software killing a graphic card which to a 3090 or a 3080 or my 3080 <laughs> which is like a very concerning kind of a situation because you have to go to the RMA service center and then you have to get this card again maybe in one to two months and yeah one to two months doesn't seem like a good time if you just have one graphic card what are you gonna run a GT 710 so yeah that was it for the video guys and make sure you share this video if you, any of your friends are interested in this game or they'll they just have a 3090 or something just let them be safe don't play this game if you have any high-end gpu considering if you have nvidia gpu if you have an amd gpu you can play it but the game is in beta testing you don't know what this game can do to your system to your shit to, like to your graphic card and graphic cards are <laughs> graphic cards are literally gold right now graphic cards are so expensive they're literally gold right now so please just don't play this game and that was it for the video guys this was a emergency video sorry for the quality and everything this was like not planned and i just got the news and i had to make a video on it because it this is a safety concern so yeah see you later and make sure you like and comment something comment your opinion on like a game breaking out to 3090